Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. My Mammoth Factory package just arrived. Today's video is just an unboxing video, but I'm really excited to see what's inside the box. That's good. Pardon for the inactivity of my YouTube channel because we're kind of doing renovations for the studio. We're doing some stuff so that we could do better YouTube videos. Me and my daughter Nico and of course my other daughter Sam, we all have our own YouTube channel. So we're kind of renovating the studio so that it's going to be easier for us to shoot some videos. Now back to the video, I've been waiting for this package for a while now. It took almost a month before it arrived from California, I think. And I was really excited when the postman handed the box to me. So all the models came with like custom bases, which are awesome. And they also have pegs in between the parts, which is really great because you don't really have to pin the models, you just have to use super glue and they're good to go. It's also kind of cool that all the bases have mammoth factory names underneath them. It's like, it's um, sculpted. No, not sculpted. Basically, it's embossed underneath the bases and it's kind of cool. Also, the bases have a bit of weight to them, especially in comparison to the usual plastic GW bases because this has like some thickness and it has a really nice weight which is super awesome when you're playing with the miniatures. At this point, I'm not cleaning the models, I'm just super gluing all the parts so that I can show you the, the, like the full look of all the models. Of course, I needed to use blue tack for some of the models that doesn't have pegs so that I can set like the pieces while the super glue is like setting. I got like three extra pieces of Void Hunters. I think these are Void Hunters. And I decided to glue them on this miner's wagon so that I could use it in a situation for a game. I really enjoyed like gluing the Void Hunters on the miner's wagon or whatever it's called. And I kind of got a unique piece that is going to be awesome in a game. Also, this piece, this Mammoth Factory custom piece is going to be fun to paint as like a practice model before I paint the rest of the models. Now, after gluing all the pieces together, let me show you the rest of the models. I did not get because like the names of the models given by Mammoth Factory because I'm really bad with memorizing names. I can like forget a name after 5 minutes but I could always remember the face. These alien looking creatures will be fun to paint very soon. I'm thinking of a fleshy like skin and then very glossy and stuff like that. Very shiny and then I don't know. We'll see. I also got this like goblin like miners and they're kind of cool. They're really short but the details are good. They're even wearing goggles and stuff like that. I, you have to paint like a ton of details on the belts and they're barefoot and they should be really cool to paint in green or teen color skin. The poses are very dynamic on some of the models. However, on these goblins, the dynamic poses are were kind of hard to glue because they're just like gluing one point, one contact point, like for example, the foot on the ground. Thus, I had to use blue tack. The fourth goblin is the most awesome. It even has like a pet dragon at the back. I'm ima again, I'm imagining a green skin and you have a red dragon skin on the back and the contrast will be really good. 
I'm thinking of painting this goblin with the dragon at the back first or this next model which is like a tree human person or a tree an ant or I, I again I did not get the name that Mammoth Factory gave this model but this should be really easy to paint because it's just a wooden man. The shield is extra cool though because I think it's mushroom. Now this levitating guy is the coolest. I think this is the only like human-like character in this box. But he's super cool you and you also have to paint a ton of the books at the base which is super nice. Now we have here a rust monster. Again, it's not the official name that Mammoth Factory gave this creature. But I think it's a rust monster. You have the rust monster in D&D games, so I guess it's like a like a mutated version, which is more awesome. Now this next model is super unique, at least for me, it's alien-like. Thus, I am like struggling to like imagine what color scheme will really suit this model. But the pose is very dynamic, and they should be very fun to paint. Maybe a yellow to red, red-orange skin would make this model even better. Now, this model is majestic. It's like a reindeer of sorts and it's made of wood, I think. But again, I saw some pictures of this painted at the Instagram account of Mammoth Factory and some people painted this really colorful and it was nice. Now, this is my very first beholder-like creature and there's a ton of eyes. This is not easy to paint because you have to paint all of those eyes, but it's going to be fun. I'm thinking of really bright, fiery red eyes for all of those eyes. So, I guess we'll paint this with pale bluish skin or something because I really want those eyes to pop. Now this creature, this model is like very nice. It reminds me of Dermogorgon. I, I, anyway, the creature from Stranger Things and it also reminds me of Lovecraft creatures. And this is going to be fun to paint. Whenever I do unboxing of like collaborations with sculptors and companies that send me like models, I really find it really, really hard to choose or decide which to paint first. Now, this dragon human creature or model is the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it's just perfect to like spend a bit more time on it, and it's going to be awesome. Now, Lucas of Mammoth Factory told me the name of this creature, which is a gelatin-like creature. This is going to be really fun to paint, but I think I'm using the airbrush for this so that I could quickly produce smooth, like, gelatin-like color scheme. And it's going to be a quick project. I think the name of this character is Talasa. And this is going to be like my only, my third bust. And I'm going to spend a really good time of making this, the painting of this model really good. It's NMM all the way for this bust, of course. And I'm thinking of like face painting, war paint on the face, or even tattoos. Now, this dragon-like creature, I think this is the same guy as the earlier one, but it's a bust version, and this is going to be extra special because it's so fun to paint those scales and, of course, the NMM armor. Most likely, or maybe, I'll paint the full-bodied version that I showed earlier of this model before I decide to paint this bust. Now our models are getting bigger and bigger, our next model is a dragon. I'm thinking of painting this into like a blue teal dragon because red dragon and green dragon is too common. 
what I like about this dragon model it's that it's not too big it's the perfect size for the scale and it's going to be really fun to paint especially the face because if we get to see the face it's super detailed this model actually came with two heads the other model that i did not glue is like pointing downwards and it's actually better in terms of the overall look but it's going to be difficult to paint if i chose to paint like if i chose to glue the one head that is pointing downwards last but not the least but the biggest is this Akadon, the Desolator. It's a huge scorpion-like creature with a ton of scorpions like climbing on the arms and the tail and of course on the custom base. This model is pretty heavy because the custom base is really thick and this should be really good as a display piece because it's really tall it's around like seven inches tall and the tail made it really wide again it's around roughly seven to eight inches wide this is going to be a really nice display piece on here at my studio soon so that's it that's the package from mammoth factory i'll be painting all these models for this channel and do subscribe to the channel if you like painting miniatures and painting like dnd like miniatures for your dnd or in this case mammoth factory games although we got a ton of models from mammoth factory i do recommend you check them out i'll put the link below of their instagram account and of course their like website so that you'll see a lot of their models and of course they also have patreon after a bit of potty work of course with vallejo plastic potty and mecha color primer the models look extra awesome I don't know about you but for me I can't really see the details much until the models are primed so I really love prime models I love them so much 95% of my personally owned models are just primed so again we're doing a bit of work on the studio but I'll be active again soon here's a glimpse of my area in the studio, my daughter Sam is like creating art using my table. Oh, if you love traditional and digital art, do check out my daughter's channel. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!